Okay, favorite game series in three, two, one. Donkey Kong. All right, favorite multiplayer game. Minecraft. Minecraft. Did we just become best friends? Yep. Do you want to go do karate in the garage? Yep. Can I come? If there's one change I've noticed this console generation with the Switch, it's that Nintendo is opening up and partnering up with companies like they never have in the past. One huge thing that Nintendo is doing is allowing cross-network play with other platforms. That's right, the days of trash talking are through. It's not like the 90s anymore where we saw a huge battle between Sega, Sony, and Nintendo. Instead of bringing each other down, in some instances they're actually working together. As I'm sure you already know, games like Minecraft and Rocket League are already cross-network play with Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. That in itself is a huge deal. We've never seen Nintendo operate this way. It doesn't mean Nintendo didn't have a choice. As you know, PlayStation 4 is not cross-network play with every other platform, so obviously this wasn't Nintendo backed in a corner forced to do something. They're open to the idea of working with rival platforms. And that's not the only instance that Nintendo has shown this change. In an interview with Jeremy Dunham of Psyonix, the developer of Rocket League, he spoke about his experience with Nintendo about bringing Rocket League to the platform. According to him, Nintendo was completely open to the idea of crossplay. He said that before he went in and spoke with Nintendo, that they were expecting a huge no. And he was pleasantly surprised when the company was immediately okay with the idea. Nintendo showing their ability to work with rival companies is really awesome in my opinion. And it really gets me wondering about what we could see on a bigger scale if these companies keep working together. As you know, Microsoft purchased Rare, a developer that was really prominent in the N64 years. They created games like Banjo-Kazooie and Conker's Bad Fur Day. This really gets me wondering if maybe we could see those characters show up in Smash Bros. Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox, has already gone on record saying that he would love to see Banjo in the Smash Bros. universe and that he has already worked with incorporating Rare IP and to Nintendo's game. I did some research and I couldn't quite figure out what game he was talking about, but the only one that I could find was the Diddy Kong Racing game on Nintendo DS. Sure, it didn't have Conker in it, but it actually did have a minor character that would show up in Banjo-Kazooie. One thing that really surprised me was that Nintendo actually tweeted out that they have legendary Xbox characters in Minecraft on Nintendo Switch. Am I the only one that thinks this is a crazy world we live in seeing Nintendo tweet about Xbox characters and the game on their platform? I myself never expected to see stuff like this and I love seeing these companies get along. Minus Sony. So between Nintendo promoting Xbox characters in their games, the passionate Phil Spencer who's always talking about crossplay with Nintendo and PlayStation platforms, and of course the juggernaut that is Smash Brothers on the horizon, I wouldn't be surprised if Xbox and Nintendo work together to bring those characters in. And honestly, Xbox isn't doing anything with those games, so I would love to see them in Smash Brothers, and they would feel right at home on a Nintendo platform. This also gets me excited for other games that could come to Nintendo Switch and be crossplay with Xbox and PC. Fortnite, I'm looking at you. I mean, I definitely know Fortnite could run on Switch because it runs on my crappy Mac, so where's that Fortnite port on Switch, come on. But as usual, I wanna know what you think. Can you imagine a world where Xbox and Nintendo work together to bring those iconic N64 rare characters to the Smash Brothers universe? Do you think we'll see more crossplay games with Nintendo Switch and Xbox One? I personally do, and I think it's a great future to look forward to. Nintendo has been surprising us over and over this generation, and I hope they continue to do that. They're already shaping up to have a fantastic 2018. It just might beat the crazy 2017 that the Nintendo Switch had, and that's absolutely insane. If you enjoy content that doesn't only involve Nintendo platforms, and you want to see more of this ugly mug, be sure to check out my Xbox enthusiasts and PlayStation enthusiasts YouTube channels. I make a lot of content on those channels, and I would love for you guys' feedback for everything I do. I love talking to you guys down in the comment section below. I'm Brett Medlock, and I will talk to you guys later.